get straight to it because I'm on a run. Um, I came here not to talk about my hair, but to talk about my weight loss. And as you can see from the previous pics, um, I, my body has changed a lot. And believe it or not, between the first two pictures, there are only um, a 10 pounds difference between the two. Um, I started working out in January, but I didn't get serious with it until June. And that's when I really cracked down with my diet, and that's when I really got serious with lifting weights and stuff like that. So for, um, I just realized, you know, one day I looked at myself in the mirror, I took those pictures, and I realized, you know, I wasn't comfortable with I wasn't comfortable with myself and I felt, you know, I wasn't, I didn't feel beautiful. In my opinion, I didn't feel beautiful. And I was like, you know what, I'm tired of crying about it. I'm going to do something about it. So I signed up at the gym and I started working out. And I realize now that working out isn't, and everybody should, that working out isn't, sh isn't for just fitting into that dress that one time for that special occasion. You know, working out should be a lifestyle change. Like, we should do this for the rest of our lives. This is something we should do if we want to be healthy. And that's what I've understood. And now I don't work out to lose weight. I just work out to live more. That's my model when it comes to working out. But I do want to look good. So, you know, um, the reason why, well, not the reason why, but I was looking at some magazines and I've looked at, I saw pictures of um, Stacey Dash and Angela Bassett and, um, and like Holly Berry. And those ladies are in their 30s, no, not, not even in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and they look amazing. And I want to look amazing too when I'm in my 40s. I want to be a MILF, okay? So, um, what I did, um, yeah, what I did was I cracked down on my food. I started eating, I, well, this is what I did. I ate five little meals a day, one, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two snacks um, in between each. And um, I ate a lot of lean meats, chicken breast, turkey. Um, I also had a lot of vegetables, broccoli, asparagus, sweet potato. I did that, a lot of salads. Um, for my snacks, I would have like um, almonds, fruit, yogurt, and not the sugar, sugary yogurt, I'm talking about the, the not so tasty yogurt. Um, for breakfast, I would have either oatmeal, but not the one, not the one with the sugar, just the not the one that comes in a tube, raw oatmeal, um, but I'll put those some like cinnamon in it to make it taste better. And um, I'll have a banana for breakfast. And it just really, it, it's not that you can't have what you want. Like, I would love to throw down some fried chicken. But I have to limit myself. Instead of having those two pieces, just have one. And that'd be it. If you want to go to McDonald's and you want that big, big Mac meal, just get the kids meal. Just proportion yourself. It's not saying that we can't eat what we want, but we need to proportion ourselves if we want to have a healthier life. Now, my goal is far, I'm far from my goal. Actually, I can show you my goal here. I want to look like her. Do y'all see that? I, that is my goal. And some people might think that it's a little too extreme. But for me, I want the six pack. I want to just look, I want people to look at me and be like, wow, she works out. And she looks amazing. And that's my ultimate goal. Even if you don't want to work out, there's always things to do. Like, um, what I did was, I worked out. I work out six days a week. I do cardio for um, 30 to 45 minutes. And then I lift weights. I flip-flop each day. I'll do upper body one day, lower body the next. And I see a big difference, especially in my clothes. Because there was at one point I could not fit in some of my clothes. And I did not like that. <laughs> so I, I, I did that. I work out six days a week now. So um, I'm on my way out now because I'm going to go, going to um, do a class, 30 minutes. It's a cardio class. Um, 
and then I'm going to lift weights. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to eat some chicken breast with some sweet potato and a salad. That is my dinner. And, and also when it comes to a lot of, um, when it comes to meals, there's a lot of healthy stuff that um, we can eat. It's, it's really, there's a lot of recipes that are healthy. Baked foods instead of fried foods. I mean, that vegetables instead of that white rice. Um, just healthier choices to have a healthier life. I can't explain it. And it has affected my hair, actually. I feel like since I've been, you know, working out, drinking a lot of water, my hair, I feel like it's grown, it feels like it's growing faster. I might be, I might be, you know, over, I don't know. But I feel like my hair is growing a lot faster than what it usually does. And I also see, my I used to, I, used, I have a little bit less dandruff. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with the water. But I, that this is my observation. And I'm not going to stop. And I repeat it, I am not going to stop until I get that six pack. If I have to do a billion, gazillion crunches to get the six pack, I'm going to get the six pack, okay? And I'll be walking around with my little shirts saying, you could eat, this is me, hey, how you doing? And I'm going to, I'm going to get it done. So for now, um, I will be posting, I need to do a length check, actually, my hair. It's long overdue for a length check. 